I received a wig from Naya Wigs. And this is a full wig with lace at the top. And it is a curly texture. They have their usual cute little Naya Wigs boxes. They're purple and shiny. Just like all the other wigs, you just slide it on the box. This time they put in a brush, which is nice. It looks like a detangling brush for curly hair. Then um, they have the wig inside of this silk bag with their logo on it. I have this, if you do a review, you can get $45 cash back. And they have all the spots that you can review at in order to get some cash back. And then they have a wig cap that's my, close to my skin tone. That's always appreciated. Comes in this little pack. So this is scalp top machine made wig in 16 inches. And it is a curly wig once again. You guys know I love my curls. This is the texture of the wig. The wig has the usual um, two combs in the front, a comb in the back, and it also has adjustable straps. So I'm going to adjust the straps for my head. I'm gonna put it on my head. <laughs> so if your hair is protected, in its style, um, it's usually good for you to just plop it on your head. If you want to wear a wig cap because you feel more comfortable and more protected, feel free. I'm not going to wear a wig cap today. Okay, so this is how it's looking when you just pop it on. It's giving me jerry curl right now, but that's okay. We'll fix that up. So, um, just to give you all a 360 the side. the back okay and it's a nice natural density which i really like that this is the curl pattern before doing anything to it okay we're gonna doll it up a little bit so that it fits more of my style so, number one thing that I'm noticing right away that I would like to do is fluff it out. Um, I want it to look a little bit more natural, the texture. Straight out the bag, they usually have it in its nice defined form, which is great when you first get the wig, but you do have to do some things if you want the wig to look as natural as possible. So, which is why they send you a nice brush, which I'll probably use. Um, but usually I keep around the spray bottle with some water and conditioner in it. Um, I just have water in it right now, but you can put some conditioner if you want. Um, I also have my scissors ready because I always need to trim a little bit in order for it to kind of fit me. Um, I may not have to trim this. It looks like it's already layered, but we'll see. Just in case there's some strays, I have my scissors ready and I have my spray bottle. So with my spray bottle, I'm just gonna spray the hair and run my fingers through it. Now, you want to wash this hair, of course, but for the sake of the video and showing you all how this hair looks straight out the bag, I did not want to manipulate the curls um, just yet, but if you do a quick wash, of course, that's um, the most ideal way to, number one, get it in its more natural state and number two um to just cleanse it i don't have the patience for finger finger detangling i know there's a lot of people that swear by finger detangling and such and such i don't have the patience for it i don't think that it's absolutely necessary it's great and all but i don't think it's absolutely necessary so if we get this hair wet enough right with the spray bottle get the brush that they sent this one and literally just it has to be wet enough because if it's not wet it's going to make it frizzy and not in a good way <laughs> so make sure the hair is wet enough and just brush out the curls with the brush no finger detangling for me i'm going to use a tool right difference we have this side now and then we have this side so this is more natural looking this is really defined um, we want it to look like it's coming out the scalp sis speaking of scalps this wig has a scalp at the top 
as you can see it has a lace scalp so it's a full wig but from the top it still looks like you know this is coming out your hair because usually full wigs um have that closure where you can't really see any scalp so it's kind of like it's cool and all but this you can see scalp so it adds a little oomph to the full wig process the full wig look right so yeah um i'm liking this so far so i'm gonna do the other side as well i will wash this hair it's just not gonna be today <laughs> um but when you wash it you want to comb out the hair after you um, wash out the conditioner and such with this and oh, shit. sorry with this and pretty much do the same process you know well, I really like to get the roots because the roots are always super smooth in new wigs and um, super smooth roots aren't natural unless you're doing a sleek back ponytail so I don't want my roots to be super smooth I want my roots to be naturally kind of messy Things are a little on the short side, but I do like the way it's framing my face. It's giving me 80s vibes, and I freaking love the 80s. But if you want the bangs to be lower, you want to pull the wig lower, right? So the bangs are touching the top of your um, brow a bit more, right? So this is how it's looking. And when it comes to these wigs, I honestly don't do a lot of a lot of styling to my wigs. Um, I usually just style it in the style that it came <laughs> and I kind of just wear it like that and that's how you do how you have a go-to everyday wig you know right you just want to pop it on I'm not trying to do all these fancy hairstyles right um, but if you do want to do some hairstyles you absolutely could do some cute pigtails you could even do a ponytail pretty layered and kind of framing the face the way that I would frame it there are some things like um, pieces that are longer than I would like them to be that I want to cut you know I trim out some pieces I noticed this piece is really really long so I'm just gonna trim the key to trimming hair um, I know a lot of people are afraid to touch their hair with scissors they think that they might mess it up and obviously you can easily mess up a haircut but um, the the best thing that I could the best advice I can give for cutting hair Especially curly hair is if you take it strand by strand or you take it really really slowly small sections so you don't want to go like this right you want to do small little cuts as you cut across and this is going to give it this jagged kind of um, thing at the end so it's not just bluntly cut it has a little bit of you know Stuck to it. And that's what I noticed. Me teaching myself how to do it. <laughs> gonna cut little pieces that I think can be trimmed up a little better to fit my face. Um, you can do the same. Um, I strongly, strongly encourage um, tailoring wigs to fit your face, your style. The more you tailor it, the more natural it's gonna look. Um, this hair does go to my shoulders. I may end up cutting it a little shorter than my shoulders. I may end up cutting it like this length, like more of a bob. But I want to show you guys, of course, how it looks without doing anything with just 16 inches. Bam, it is the way that it is. And um, this is how it looks when you puff it, when you brush it out. So I'm going to do a little bit of a trim. And that's it. Um, I will have all of the information in the description box. So, so check it. You know, leave your comments if you have any questions, concerns, anything of the sort. Once again, this wig is from Nia Wigs. Um, it is bomb.com. This is an everyday wig, 100%. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I know you all will love this wig, so please check out the link in the description and get it if you want it. And I will talk to you all in my next video. Love you all. Bye.